Hi, if you believe that children are the future and also delicious. Hi, if you believe that children are people who deserve creative autonomy, you're gonna love today's episode. B roll into me rolling. <laughs> Don't use knives, kids. Hello. And welcome to a very special episode of Laugh Cry DIY. Today we are leaving our cynicism, our sarcasm, our general distrust of the world behind because today we are giving a child her first big girl bedroom. I recently heard through the grapevine that a five year old, sorry, five and a half year old, let's call her Tabitha, was moving into her first big girl bedroom. I rushed over, I demanded she hire me because she's very powerful and very independently wealthy. And because we have a professional relationship, she has furnished me with her very own creative brief. So she emailed it to me, but this is more dramatic. Okay. The colors I want in my room are pink, purple, and yellow. The colors I don't want in my room are red, green, and black. My favorite animal is unicorns, and when my friends come into my bedroom, I want them to think that it's really magical. So I think it's very clear from that brief that what she wants is pastels with pops of neon. So let's make this child's dream come true. Hold on, let me get dressed. Okay. So we are standing in this perfectly pristine, clean, crisp, white room. It's the perfect canvas to make all of our childhood dreams come true. And obviously that starts with a big girl bed. My client, strong, independent young woman. A lot of opinions about what the design and motif would be for her bedspread. The bedspread is the soul of the room. It's where you really understand who a person is, what they value, what they care about. And for this young client, there was only one option. Rainbow Unicorn Extravaganza. Not only is this pastel pink, our unicorns have a rainbow fringe and tassels on them. So again, today we're all about pastels, neons, and gold accents. And we're bringing the gold element in with our mm, curtain rods. Now, every single apartment is different. And this is what is so fun and frustrating about moving is that you notice all the weird little funky things. So for example, this window goes straight next to the wall. So you can't really put a traditional curtain rod because basically wherever you put the bracket is where the drapes are gonna end. This wouldn't actually cover the window. You'd have like this much of a gap. So we are doing a beautiful, wonderful curtain rod that mounts to the wall and it's round. So the drapes can actually go around the side and actually cover the window even if your window is like flush with the wall. That makes sense? I hope so. This is the hardware you screw to the wall and then you click it in to put the actual rod in. And I wanna say to my client, I know you said you didn't want any red in your room and I'm sorry that my drill is red. I'm using kid-friendly words. Snap, shoot, darn. The wall is also slightly slanted out because, you know, there's been a lot over the years that has happened. So, let's see if we can click that on. Is it gonna work? Dun, dun. At least they're up. Alrighty, next up. We have these two beautiful windows, gorgeous, lots of light. And my client is a five and a half year old scholar. So, what are we gonna put right here? Come on, obviously, bookcase. A lot of pieces. Do not have a number on them. figured it out. They did not number them, but they did um, conveniently and really intelligently provide a really, really simple way for you to identify them. And that is that they listed them out with all of their dimensions. It's millimeters. All right, now it's getting serious.
forgot the back of the drawer. All right, time for me to call it a day. Alrighty, new day. And right now I am very excited to bring in our first piece of neon furniture. Oh boy. This little step stool is a great option for a side table. It's simple, it's understated, but one thing a five and a half year old absolutely needs is a light for bedtime story reading. We didn't want to clutter this area with like a huge lamp. So instead, we opted for a very simple, very cute, very chic <gasps> plug-in wall sconce. Now, this is a plug-in or a hardwired sconce, which is awesome. Always get plug-in sconces if you're a renter. And by the way, what we have here is a very special project that my client made for her father. I love a pink hammer that says dad. So exciting. All right, next up, we have this beautiful little corner. We've got gorgeous, cute little windows. So we thought obviously this would be the prime location for a reading nook. And of course, my client had a very specific request to incorporate unicorns into the design. So if you have a reading nook and you need a chair and you love unicorns, what do you do? You bring unicorns into your life via fuzzy unicorn chair. Come on. Now, of course, we have a lot of petite furniture in this room. We've got our little nightstand, we've got our little chair, and we have this big empty space. So we wanted to fill it with something useful for the reading nook, and we wanted to add some height just to break up all this blank space right here. And the answer is simple floating shelves. So we are gonna put these here, here. That way my client can have an easy place to put books, to put up a little art gallery, however they want to express themselves in a cute and functional way. Pro tip, instead of struggling to hold the shelves up and measure this and measure that, you take painter's tape, the length of your shelves, mark where the screw holes are, and then you just level, rearrange, restick this on the wall until it's perfect. And one very important thing to remember when you're hanging shelves, you wanna make sure that you have enough height between to actually be able to use this shelf, put the things you want to. The next step is to put in our beautiful, gorgeous curtains. Now we're gonna have a lot of color in this room, so we didn't wanna put in anything that was too overwhelming. So we have chosen curtains that are trimmed with tassels. These tassels are also really giving unicorn tail, just like the bedspread. And as you'll notice, they go all the way around. Alrighty, so as you will recall, our client dictated that we needed to include pink, purple, and yellow. And so obviously, we are going with a giant gray red pad. JK, the real rug's coming soon, but we gotta get this down and make sure. We chose a giant rug for this room because we want our client to be able to run and jump and roll around and have fun and protect her little feet while she does. Okay, time for me to get the rug. We love that it has a slight pattern, but it's not too overwhelming. We've got the pinks, we've got the yellows. It grounds it and this massive um, size makes this a really, really fun play area. B-roll into me rolling. <laughs> Don't use knives, kids. Now, of course, we've got the bookshelf back in, and this is California, and we do have earthquakes sometimes, so we are making sure to reinforce this bookcase to make sure that nothing falls down. <laughs> All right, this is good for today. We will be back tomorrow for our final touches. Good morning. We are back and we're finishing everything up. So let's bring that furniture back in. Unicorn chair, nightstand. So it is time for this bookcase to officially play dress up. And of course we are organizing these books by color. How else are we supposed to match the tails of the rainbow unicorns? Come on people, it's science. Hold up, 
favorite book alert, Blueberries for Sal, an iconic text. It's about picking blueberries, it's about bears. Um, fun fact, did you know that cats can eat blueberries? My cat Baguette, she doesn't like them. You wanna try them? Try them, try them. Terrifying book alert. I discovered the book that haunted me my entire childhood, and that is The Monster at the End of This Book. This was a thrilling, suspenseful, heart-pounding, nail-biting adventure each time. And to this day, I am still afraid of the monster at the end of this book. And for my baby designers out there, this is the coolest book. My first book of patterns. Honeycomb, Argyle, Harlequin. If a child is six years old and cannot tell the difference between a chevron and a harlequin pattern, I do not speak to them. And of course we have the classic, the book that every kid has in their library, and that is Shoes, a celebration of pumps, platforms, sandals, slippers, boots, mules, sneakers, and more. <sighs> I knew this book cover to cover growing up. And of course, how could we call ourselves a rainbow unicorn fantasy room without a unicorn lamp? I do think that Mr. Unicorn is looking a little sad and lonely, so let's give him some friends. Neon rainbow jewelry box, and of course, Barbie rainbow unicorn. Now when you have an active library, you've got books coming in and out, and therefore we are putting an adorable, beautiful book basket right in the corner here. She can simply reach down, pull out her favorite ones without ever having to leave the unicorn. Now, one thing I love about these shelves is that when you walk into the room, it kind of looks like a mini gallery wall. And as these books will change, it'll look like kind of different art. But I did feel like this space right here felt a little bit empty. And we're always looking for opportunities to bring more neon into our life. So we have this adorable little neon print that I think deserves a home here. Now, there's no way that you can do a room that is pastels with pops of neon without actually bringing in some neon. And so, to light up my client's life, the official Laugh Cry DIY <gasps> neon ice cream. Look at those lines, look at that silhouette, look at that structure. You can't maybe see it on camera so well, but she's purple and she's yellow, and most importantly, she's delicious. So she will live here. And to be honest, this room is still not colorful enough. So we're gonna add a few neon tassels. You can buy these, I'll have all the products linked below. You could make them, but they're such a fun way to add some personality and playfulness and texture to a space. Okay, we're getting close to the end. But as you can see, we are facing a huge problem right here. There is nothing but blank, white emptiness. And luckily, I just happen to have, in my own hands, a neon pink desk. Oh. This is an actual vintage school desk which we painted pink along with our neon stool. And if you haven't seen that episode, click here. Now, of course, my client will be up late many nights handwriting her alphabets with quill and ink. So we need to make sure she has enough light to see her beautiful work. And therefore, we are obviously doing a pastel pink and gold desk lamp. And I'm thinking exactly what you guys are thinking. There's just not enough neon. <gasps> Giant neon heart. Hold on, let me get my dad to help me put this up. Now we do live in Los Angeles and the air quality is not the best. So we do have an air purifier for my client. And did you think it was white? Oh no, it is pink. Time to make this big girl bed. And you know we're doing rainbow unicorn sheets, come on. Now for the duvet, obviously we wanted to do something really neutral, simple, and clean. So we did just a plain white duvet with rainbow pom-poms. I know how much you five and a half year olds hate wrinkles, so we are steaming this to make it nice and smooth. By the way, in case you didn't know, if you're ever looking at your own room and wondering why it doesn't look like a magazine, that's because magazines Photoshop rooms there's an ugly outlet, they will Photoshop it out. If there's a random hand towel that was left in the shot, they will Photoshop it out. So it's important, I just want the kids to know that all media is a lie. 
Now, my client is five and a half years old. She doesn't need a mountain of pillows on this bed. So we're just doing the one just to keep it colorful and cozy. We don't have a headboard right now. We're still deciding on what that's gonna be. And that's how life is. We create our rooms over time. But what we do have is these amazing hanging stars. Um, these come separately and you can put them in whatever configuration you want. I wanted to fill the space above the bed in lieu of a headboard. So we're gonna pop those right on there. <laughs> I love it. All right, my friends. This has been a magical, colorful, pink, purple, yellow, neon, rainbow filled journey. And I think it is finally time to show you our final reveal. Well, children, thank you for joining me for today's very special episode. This was a colorful, magical, neon daydream. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope my client enjoys it. And until next time, I will just be here learning more about shoes.